Hey guys, this is Dr. Ryan Hewitt. Uh, today I want to have a quick discussion about the difference between corrective exercise and functional exercise. Uh, in our office here, we actually deliver both types of, of exercise, but uh, I love the analogy that functional training or functional exercise is like the wholesome foods or the, um, the complete uh, nutritional package that you receive from your training. And the corrective exercise are like the vitamins or the nutrients. So they are the, the smaller parts that are very critical um, and sometimes are important to supplement. So functional training, we use this in our functional training center, in our gym. Um, this consists of full body movements. Um, we like to say that we train movements and not muscles. Uh, this helps people maintain balance, stability, agility, coordination, strength, endurance, you name it. Um, this allows you to train in a 360 degree manner to make sure that you are, are building a base of fitness, but also strength, also balance, also agility. So it's almost like a, a full pyramid of making sure that you're uh, receiving all of those important you know, movements and, uh, and daily activities. Now the corrective exercise, those are very important as well. You could also call these accessory movements. So these vary for different people. So just the same as um, not all supplements are great for all people, um, even though there are some supplements like fish oil, probiotics, um, and uh, multivitamins that are important possibly for everybody. There's also the same things with corrective exercise. Um, you know, a lot of uh, isolation movements that include the hips and the glutes and the middle back, those are typically corrective exercises that isolate specific movements and a lot of time muscle groups um, that allow you to really focus on those areas that tend to be neglected, especially for anybody that um, tends to do a lot of sitting, um, tends to be very inactive between their shoulders or very inactive in their glutes or their core. Um, so a lot of those, those corrective exercises in nature, I actually am able to really decipher from um, an in-depth exam um, during someone's wellness score. I can see exactly where they're deficient in specific, um, in specific movements and where they are weak. Uh, and we can actually supplement those corrective exercises in their plan along with that functional training that's getting them those wholesome movements, but also making sure that they're uh, supplementing those corrective exercises to shore up weaknesses, um, maintain balance, uh, making sure that they are uh, getting the best possible results with their, uh, their physical training, uh, as well as their chiropractic care. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful.